Hello friends, welcome to this channel. Today we will study about engineering curves conic portion MCQs. Let we start from first. Ellipse. Question number 1. Which of the following is incorrect about ellipse? A. Eccentricity is less than 1. B. Mathematical equation is x square upon x square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. C. If a plane is parallel to the axis of cone, cuts the cone, then the section give ellipse. d. The sum of the distance from two focuses and any point on the ellipse is constant. Friends, you can see in the figure, cone is given. We cut from a plane in parallel to its axis. So, the shape we get is parabolic. So, the answer will be c. If a plane is parallel to the axis of cone, cuts the cone, then the section gives not ellipse, it is parabola. Question number 2. Which of the following constructions does not use elliptical curve? A. Cooling towers, dams, bridges, manholes. Friends, we know dams, bridges, and manholes. All three have elliptical curves, but cooling tower does not have parabolic or elliptical curve, it has hyperbolic curve. So, the answer will be A. Cooling tower. Question number 3. The line which passes through the focus and perpendicular to the major axis is blank. A. Minor axis, B. Lattice rectum, C. Directrex, D. Friends, we know, and you can see in the figure, the lattice rectum is on the right side and focus and perpendicular to the major axis. So, lattice rectum is the right answer, minor axis, directrex, and tangent. All three are known by the option that it will not be the answer. Question number 4. Which of the following is the eccentricity for an ellipse? A. 1. B. 3 by 2. C. 2 by 3. D. 5 by 2. Friends, we know that the eccentricity of an ellipse is less than 1. So, the less than in the option is 2 by 3. So, the answer will be C. Question number 5. Which of the following does not belong to ellipse? A. Lattice rectum. B. Directrex, C. Major axis, D. Question number 6. In general method of drawing an ellipse, a vertical line called as Blank is drawn first. Question number 7. If eccentricity of ellipse is 3 by 7, how many division will the line joining the directrix and the focus have in general method? B. 10. Question number 8. An ellipse has blank foci. B. 2. Question number 9. If information about the major and minor axis of ellipse is given, then by how many methods can we draw the ellipse? 10.
In arc of circle method, the foci are constructed by drawing arcs with center as one of the end of the blank axis and the radius equal to the half of the blank axis. Ten. In arc of circle method, the foci are constructed by drawing arcs with center as one of the end of the blank axis and the radius equal to the half of the blank axis. Eleven. If we know the major and minor axis of the ellipse, the first step of drawing the ellipse is to draw the axes blank each other. Twelve. Loop of the thread method is the practical application of blank method. Thirteen. The two fixed points in the ellipse are called blank. Fourteen. Which of the following passes through the two foci of an ellipse? Fifteen. In which of the following elliptical curves are not used? Sixteen. In which of the following elliptical curves are used? Seventeen. In which of the following elliptical curves are not used for construction? Eighteen. In which of the following elliptical curves are not used for construction? Nineteen. In which of the following elliptical curves are not used for construction? Twenty. In which of the following elliptical curves are not used for construction?
We do not use the circular method, we do not use the cylindrical method either, but we use the trimmel method. So the answer will be C, trimmel method. Question number 19. Which is the appropriate input needed to draw the ellipse in the arc of circle method? Friends, which input is necessary in the arc of circle method of ellipse? A. Length of the major axis B. Length of the major axis and the distance between the four sides C. Length of the minor axis D. Length of the semi-major axis. So we know that the length of the major axis does not matter. Length of the major axis and the distance between the four sides. This comes in the directrix focus method. D. Length of the semi-major axis. This comes in the trimmel method. But length of the minor axis. In the arc of circle method, we take. So the answer will be C. Length of the minor axis. Question number 20. Which is the appropriate input needed to draw the ellipse in the concentric circle method? A. Length of the major axis B. Length of the minor axis. Question number 21. In the trimmel method of constructing an ellipse, which is used as trimmel? A. A strip of paper marked with a semi-minor and semi-major axis from one end. Question number 22. Which of the following values of eccentricity is possible to refer to an ellipse? A. Ellipse eccentricity is less than 1b. Ellipse eccentricity is less than 1. Question number 23. Which of the following is incorrect about parabola? A. Ellipse eccentricity is less than 1. Question number 24. Which of the following constructions use parabolic curves? A. Cooling tower, water channels, light reflectors, manholes. Question number 25. Which of the following designs do not require the parabolic curve? A. Light reflector, sound reflector, cooling tower B. Question number 26. Which of the following designs require the parabolic curve? A. Cooling tower, water channels, light reflectors, manholes. Question number 27. Which of the following possibly be eccentricity of the parabola? A. Which of the following method is used for constructing parabolic curves? Question number 29. 
Which of the following designs require the parabolic curve? Question number 30. Which of the following designs require the parabolic curve? Question number 31. Which of the following is the eccentricity for hyperbola? A. Three by two. Question number 32. Which of the following described curved sections gives the hyperbolic curve from the cone? A. Section parallel to the cone axis. Question number 34. Which of the following is the eccentricity of a rectangular hyperbola? B. 2. Question number 35. As per Boyle's law, the product of pressure and volume, Pxv constant, in water channel, we use this equation which result in parabolic curve, rectangular hyperbolic curve, elliptical curve, straight line. Question 